Uh, morning everyone. Uh, let's just turn that off. I fell asleep with the light on. I didn't even get undressed. Oh, that was a long evening. Uh, right, uh, I'm not really hungry yet, so let's just crack on today. Um, I've got to find out when this money is, we were promised. Because we can't really do anything without it at the minute. These stacks are going to be the death of me. Oh, wow, look at that. Right in the shadow of that peak of a mountain, the sun glaring through. That's gorgeous. This is one stunning place to be. Stunning. Alright, let's run up and see if they're up. See if Derek's about. Oh, oh. oh. oh shake that off. Let's get out of the system before we speak to them. Nice quick cuppa there. Um, that was Marie. That's Derek's wife. Uh, he went out this morning. Uh, apparently his mother came and picked him up. I'm not sure where they've gone. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do then while I'm waiting to find out things, because there's not a lot to do otherwise, is try to get into this shed. Uh, there's got to be a way through this bramble. I want to break the window and climb through, but <sighs> so coming up through the gravel, which is the worst part. Doesn't seem to be too. Oh, it's too thick there. <sighs> There's got to be a way through. Hang on, is that a pathway there? Can we get through those two bits? Try and get through these. Well, these are thick. There's got to be a gap somewhere. Squeeze through here. Can we... Oh, hello. It's... Ah, we're through. Right. Whew. Yeah, it's growing through as well. Look. Right. Well, at least we're in. Um, let's have a look at the state of the shed. Let's have a look at the timbers. That didn't sound too good. How about this door? Nope. It jammed. Oh, I think I know what's happening here then. There's bits missing at the bottom there. I think the structure is buckled. Certain doors will not open. Yep, certain doors won't open. So the st structure's buckled. I think the shed's got to go. Pretty much, this one's got to go as well. That's not going to be easy. Uh, what we got in here? Dirty old two-bit plow. That is no way going to be any use for this farm. Uh, small. 45 degree. Fertiliser spreader. That is super old. I'm guessing that's what his granddad used. Great granddad used back in the day. That looks like a two and a half, maybe three metre cultivator. Pretty basic one. And that's a meadow roller. Right. Oh. Wow, look at that. That is old school. Is that a two, two, 240 Matty Ferguson? That's a two cylinder. Dare I try it? It's key in it. Let's give it a go, shall we? Come on. Want to? Oh, oh, hello. We got it, we got it. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Oh. Right. 
I'm going to get cracking, see if I can get some of this going. Um, I'll see you in a moment. Ah, welcome back. Uh, we're trying this again. It should first time. I'll leave that running for a minute. Uh, let's chuck this out of the way. I'll give that a minute. Got some good news. Derek's been back. He's actually been helping me. Um, we put some new filters on here. Argo filters. Uh, change the sparks on it. Cleared out some of the fuel intake. Splashed a fresh diesel. Drain the old stuff out. Put some new stuff in. Um, and now it's working. It's taken a while. We've got this little old one back alive. I think the size of the gap on these. These have got the crop grow type tires here. Uh, um, yeah, he's also yeah he's been he's bought some cash with him. We've got eighty five thousand. I think it was about something like eighty five thousand eight hundred. Uh, apparently there will be more to come. This is kind of like a first investment from everybody. Um, they've still got a, a good portion of the family to get through. <coughs> got that out there. I'll tell you what, for an old girl, it runs pretty smooth. Don't have to do much, but it's smooth. Now we are going to leave this running for a bit. Let's put it in here. Just for a second. Leave that running for a couple of minutes. I'll go back in here. It's oh. Oh, through. I'm just going to take some pictures of these and stick them up. Stick them up on the local sale sites, auction sites, see if we can get some of these sold because these, I mean, these are no good for us. Not on this size farm anyway. This is for someone who likes this sort of thing for decoration or possibly someone with a tiny little start-up farm somewhere. Um, it's certainly no good for a field to these size, so. Ah, hello everyone. I've just shut that off. <laughs> it's been running for a while. That seems to work well. Um... Derek's been over and started this. This is working fine. It did need a spark plug changed and a new battery on it put on it. But um, he had one of them spare, so that was no cost for us. So I'm just going to give it a crack. Oh yeah, that starts fine. Absolutely perfect. What you like to see? So I'm going to head down to Pete's. I think I'm going to grab that trailer while we can, while we've got the cash. Yeah, we'll get that trailer and we'll shoot around and grab a tractor. Um, see what else we can get with the cash we've got for now. Maybe a plug. maybe I'll get the tractor first and drive that down. I could drive that down. I'm sure that won't be too big a problem. Or maybe you'll deliver it down to Pete's. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, we'll have to have a little look. See if he'll let us... Uh, uh, he said we can't start them. That's the only worry I have. I s I'm guessing it's got to be a way of going, getting around that, surely. But anyway, we'll see you down there. I don't know, they've got another diner. See, look, they own a chain of them. They've even got multiple ones in town. Uh, we've, anyway, we're down here at the moment because we've come to top up with some diesel. I can, uh, I've got some extra tanks on the back here. We've got no diesel container at the farm, so it's worth having some. Yeah, just putting this diesel in, money's going down. We've got the card in the machine. These are quite handy, these machines. Filling it right up. You can see the weight coming down here. Now we can hold about 500 litres in here, so that's... It is really handy. And of course, I've got the jump cables and everything else in here as well. Pretty much everything we need. There we go. Thought oh, I was a bit pricey. Alright, let's go put that back in the pump. Card back out. <laughs> right, that's all that shut away. Fueled up. 1500 litres, my bad. I knew I had a big tank, I didn't realise it was that bad. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't know, so it just came over the bridge. Come on, mate. 
we're here. That's the important thing. Uh, we're not going to avoid. We're going to avoid that car park for now. These bays don't seem to be used that much, so we can just pull over here. It'll be fine. I hope it'll be fine. <laughs> um, I hope it'll be fine. Shut that up. Where's Sam then? Oh, hang on, he's over there. Alright, oh, uh, welcome back. We've been having a little look. Um, he doesn't allow driving on them inside to start them up. Um, but he has recommended a few. Uh, this Axion, it's a big engine, over 300 horsepower. Um, he recommends this one here. This one he's got um, in the window because it's on sale. Um, and he said we can, if we want, we can open up this shutter here and just pull it outside. So I think we will, because just we want to hear it running. So check it out. Let's jump in. This is a nice one. All right, we're gonna go straight out here. If we don't hit the barrier, here we go. It's got 32 running hours on it. Um, it's had an engine overhaul and a rear shock axle fix and uh, yeah I can see why 32,000 is uh, what we've offered I think we've offered 32 it seems like a good one um, it's ticking over nicely not overheating or anything it's got fuel, full fuel tank that's uh, off the bat, I'd imagine the repair cost it's going to cost us to do the last of the repairs it's going to be quite high 42 grand is pretty much half our budget uh, I think I said 32 but I think he wants 42, I must, I'll have to check with him again um, so that's 59 months old 250 brake horsepower on it I mean even for 42 grand that's, um, the liner's good, it looks the interior is nice I think this would definitely be something that would work well. Um, I think at 42, I don't. So normally I'd say haggle. Some T90s on there, and they're tradable truck tires. They're not the best ones. I prefer Michelin or something a bit more than that, but tradable would do. I would have preferred wheel weights, but uh, 42 grand, yeah. Right, let's shut the engine off. I'll leave that there a sec. Um, see, the John Deere's, everyone takes John Deere's on American farms. Um, and I'm just, I think, although they look good, they probably are all right. The paintwork's very badly damaged. And, um, and you're spending thousands and thousands. Even on a farm rescue, you don't want to turn up with something that looks too battered and bruised. So I'm not too keen on them. And if I come out here, he said he had a couple more. Out here, well, that's, that is huge. It's a 930 axial tracked, wow. Um, I'm guessing he means this one. This is a smaller one. It's the Aerion, this is the 610. This is a 145 horsepower, I think he said. Um, it's is looking at getting about 34 grand for it but we could possibly let it go cheaper if we we're going to take it without going through his checks and cleaning uh he's got a key in this one has he can't see a key okay well maybe not that one then for now um but yeah he's, he's got a few i think that one that we've picked out will probably do the trick Let's see if we can cut a deal with him. He's gone upstairs now. He's around somewhere. I've seen him. Um, I do like these. Now these are these these little things here. They are uh, 136 brake horsepower. They're brand spanking new. They're 16. Well, they're 16 months old, but they've never been used. They were shipped over here. 
Um, and whoever had ordered them, for some reason, instantly got rid of them. They're about 50 grand new. Um, but he's putting them up, they're 20,000 pound. Or 20,000 dollars, sorry. Um, it's an option. I mean, it's something we'll put on a back burner um, for now. I think we're going to go for a deal for that one. He's, he's got it listed at 42. I'm going to try to be cheeky and just say 40 and see if we can get a deal done. And see if he'll also bring it down to the uh, Pete's. He's in the end one, I believe. There we go. Just transferred 40 grand over. It's ours. We've got the paperwork. He's gonna, he's gonna bring the paperwork down, pop it in the cab, and he's gonna run it down to Pete's place um, in the next 15 minutes or so for us. So we haven't got to worry about it too much. But we do have to pick up that trailer now. So half our budget's been blown on a tractor. <laughs> and away we go. Let's head down to Pete's. Here we are. Let's shut her off. And away we go. Right. What we're going to need? Um, I think for starters, we're going to want a cultivator or a plow. Um, if I remember rightly, Pete said these particular plows are really good, and you can get extensions for them from the store as well. Um, these are six meter plows, and he's got them listed at ten grand a piece. This one's five and a half grand. Uh, these these ones here are something more of our, 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 our valley. Uh, these are handmade to order um, and then they were never picked up. Uh, this is a slightly smaller one. This is a slightly bigger one, as you can see. This one here, two grand. This one here, three grand. Well, I think it's a no-brainer. We'll, we'll, we'll take that, I think. We're going to get that one. That's three. We'll have that. That's for certain. Um, the trailer. Well, we're going to need something to take that tractor back for starters, I think. It's three grand, so we'll take that as well. That's six. And this is 30 grand. Well, he wants 34 for it. He wants 34 for it. And it's not going to leave us with much money to play with. And I want that truck. Really want that truck. We're great for hauling grain. We also need a trailer. Ooh. I think what we'll do is we'll stick with cultivator. I think we get a cultivator today. We get a cultivator today, cultivator today, cultivator today. Oh, it is toughy. Anyway, let's see if I can find Pete. Alright, let's shut that off. Alright, so we've got our trailer hitched up. We've got that hitched up. We've still got to pay for everything, um, but we've made a deal. Um, the tractor's been delivered, so we're going to need that. Uh, let's drop off in. Right. I'm assuming he came in this way because I can't see this fitting. Uh, we've got to go around the back here. This is where we had to go to get the trailer. Um, and it's in here. Right, we're all on. Uh, put a strap on through there. Right, strap on around the wheels. Right, that's that done. Right, so we've got to go pay the man some money. There we go, all paid. That's right, 15 grand. We got the trailer, we got that, and we got the F50, the F600 rather. Uh, there we go. 
going to pull this out once it's out of the way. I'm not going to be able to take it with the trailer, obviously. But it runs smooth and Derek's on his way down to collect it. There we go. Ain't going to be too perfect. Pete said anywhere here should be fine. And just listen to it. And I turned around and told uh, Derek on the phone. Um, we've got an F600 as our work truck. He was very, very happy. He said his uh, grandpops had one. A uh, navy blue one. Um, it made me look at the colouring again on this. But um, yeah, this is definitely black. <laughs> I was worried that maybe this is the same one. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's just go over. We'll pick up a trailer. And get this back. Hoping my truck's got the goomph to pull it all. Right. We'll see you at the farm, Mr. F600. To be honest, I don't know what I was worried about. This truck is a dream truck. Perfect. It's definitely the one that we use. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Let's get this, see if we can get up the hill. Come on, girl. It's got a weird gradient to this hill as well, so. About 25 degree, maybe 30 degree gradient. And the truck just pulls away. Love it. Derek shouldn't be too far behind us. A couple of minutes, maybe five minutes or so. Hopefully. Alright, let's just swing it here and get it unloaded. Uh, shut that off. Jump on in. Start her up. Waiting. Start with a bit of. Uh, we'll start a little cultivating now, can't we? Alright. Uh, unfold that up. Oh, watch out for those rocks. down and let's see this does what it's meant to do it's cheap enough bit of equipment oh yeah it's lovely oh, we'll carry on then until we find until we see uh until we see Derek I suppose come on why are you not getting that bit there we go oh there's Derek hang on let's just put up the app There's another bit of I mean, I guess it is raised bank there. I have to be careful. Turn it up at the end. Hey, Derek, do you want to uh, have a go on that? See how far you get. Not the greatest for seed bending, but... Uh, needs are a must. Needs are a must. Well, uh, right, we'll get this put away, I guess. Um, not that we're going to really need it for now. Actually, you probably will need it. I'm thinking we could possibly, for now, not bother putting this away. Because we're going to need it. I'm just going to pop it um, there for a second. Out. Oh. I think Derek was calling me. I'll wait for him to come back up this way and uh, we'll find out what he uh, wanted. Oh, I got run up with him, I suppose. Oh, I don't want to damage too much of the crop, but apparently there's something very interesting in here. 
Um, I think the best way of describing it is we chuck up a drone. I'm not very good at flying these drones, so just bear with me. You can see where we've driven into the field. And if I just... You just see the drone footage there. We've got cropped circles in the field. I mean, I don't believe in... Uh, that they're created by aliens. I mean, there must be a way of doing it. You just bring the drone back down. Must be a way of doing it. Um, but as Derek's, I can't even see where I came in now. That's uh, about here. As Derek suggested, maybe we should call, get the local paper to come up and take a picture before he gets too far. Maybe worth a few quid, and we've done just that. We've called them. <laughs> They're going to come take a few pictures, probably be in the local news. Uh, abandoned farm, mysterious crop circles, I don't know. Blah de blah de blah. <laughs> so we've given them a call. They'll be here at some point. Uh, in the meantime, hang on, shut that off. In the meantime, we go, I'm going to get cracking with ripping this stuff out and getting this chucked away. So we'll see you in a little while. Right, welcome back. Um, we've got 10 grand for our uh, our story. <laughs> the pictures they've taken. We've been paid 10 grand for that. Um, I wasn't expecting that much money. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, we've, as you can see, we've cleared a path all the way through to this shed. Um, and we've been able to get inside it. Uh, we've actually got some people coming to have a look at some of this stuff. Uh, we've got one coming at about 4 o'clock today. Which will be um, hopefully we can get rid of we can get rid of all of it. That'd be fantastic. And then we've got another one coming in the morning if they don't sell. So let me just open these up. So you can get in and out of here now. I should really pick that toolbox up that I flipped. Um, let's grab that and put that back. Now we've got that started. We don't going to need that there. We want to put that back with the toolkit. Dude. There we go. Uh, and Derek's plugging away in the field. So we're looking good. We are looking good. I'm going to take the opportunity to go uh, grab a cup of tea. Uh, it hasn't been too long since I last spoke to you. But um, uh, Marie came down uh, from the house. Briefly to see how I was getting up, settling in and, every, and everything's going on. Um, she said Derek seemed really happy when she spoke to him earlier. And I said, yeah, I think we're just trying to work out what we can do, what's about. Uh, and she said, actually, at the other end of the farm, there's lots of stores and things. So um, I'm going to grab the truck and shoot over there and just have a quick drive-by, if you like, and see what there is about. Oh, look, he's plugging away at that. Lovely. I mean, technically it would probably been easier if we would have went straight down and up, but um, I started that trend. <laughs> so someone's got a silo. Mary's farm. There's a farm behind all of that? Interesting. Emerson's something. What is this? What have we got? Emerson's livestock market. Animals. I don't think animals are really the way to go. I've seen a lot of sheep farms around here as well. I've got the cow farm. It's a cereal factory. It takes a lot of ingredients, that does. They normally ask big contracts as well. Sugar. Uh, I, saw, I saw sugar cane filled on my way in, so I'm assuming there's someone who does that. Uh, oil. Well, this was a canola field. I'm wondering if uh, grandfather, uh, a great, their great grandfather, used to do a contract with them. So I am going to be nosy and just uh, let's pull in. I need that running. We should be all right here. I think we should pull in and go and have a word. Um, yeah, door somewhere around here. 
rather a noisy place. That can't be the main door, surely. Ah, maybe it is. Let's see if anyone's about. Alright, well, that was uh, very constructive. Um, yeah, the McBride's used to run canola all the time. Uh, used to make canola and sunflower oil all the time in their field. It was only this giant field they owned. Um, obviously, times have changed now. Prices, etc. You need multiple fields. Um, we we'll grab it off roading. What's this stretch up here like? This big green meadowy type thing. It is, it's just a big grassy meadow. And it comes to the back of the house. Do you know what? Let's hop out, run up. Let's have a look from up here. Yeah, apart from uh, a few bushes, this could be turned into a field as well. We could do that, possibly. It's about halfway through that field and all. Good to see. Uh, right. Do I dare to try and jump down there? Whoa! Ugh. Oops. Oh, that was a bit steeper than I thought it was. Ow! 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 Ow. Oh, I think I twisted my ankle just a little bit. That was a little sore. All right, I'll let him carry on there. He's happy as Larry. So this is really nice to drive. For something as old as it is. Done. We've got a gentleman coming to look at these pieces of equipment. Hopefully we can get rid of all this. Um, I have spoken to a company who can remove the silo. We're not worried about the shed. Because I can we can rip that down between us. Um, but basically because this has held different types of grain. Uh, and the water levels, uh, it's about three foot deep in there. It's very vile. Um, yeah, it's very vile and stinky. Probably some nox noxious gases have built up in there over the time. So safety wise, we're going to get someone to remove it. Plus a lot of these here, it looks like it's just been painted over rust. Um, I don't particularly want to climb any of that to undo any of the bolts at the top. So yeah, we've got a company coming in to bulldoze that out eventually that's going to cost us 10 g's um when they come and do it so yeah we're going to be easy going with some of the cash but i think that's it for this uh this episode so we've got our first piece of equipment he's using it in the field he's going to crack on and hopefully we'll see you in the next one this is farm rescue peace out <laughs>